Black America. While we celebrate symbolism of having a black woman in the White House and a black woman in the Supreme Court, right now as we speak, black women are the most likely to lose their house. Black men have the shortest lives, black children have the highest suicide rate, and even though we are around 15 to 20 percent of the population, we are over 55 percent of those living in the streets. We are going to be third class citizens in the nation we built. We better wake up and vote for real policy. Vote for Greg Mar. Marcel Dixon, Repair Black America to Fix America. Hello everyone, it's me Demetra Kay of the Demetra Kay Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So 30 years ago in Los Angeles, riots took place due to the brutal beating of Rodney King, a motorist who was pulled over by four LAPD police officers and they went about the business of beating him with their batons, they kicked him in his face and a whole host of other things that was actually caught on videotape by that of George Holiday. He was visiting from out of town and he saw it take place from the balcony where he was staying. Okay, so as you guys know, the officers initially were tried and they were acquitted and then on April 29th of 1992, all hell broke loose in Los Angeles where riots took place for six days, 63 people were killed and almost 3,000 others were injured. A whole lot of uh, businesses were burnt down, houses and a whole bunch of stuff, right? Okay, and so finally, the feds picked up the case and they tried the officers again. Two of the officers were found guilty and two were acquitted. All right, so moving fast forward to today, 30 years later, the question is, what has changed since then? Now, of course, you guys know in 2020, when George Floyd was murdered by that of Derek Chauvin, the whole world protested and just, you know, said, we're not putting up with this anymore. And we thought we were getting some momentum, right? Then, of course, our leadership, I should say, our misleadership came and said, okay, we're going to put forth the George Floyd Justice and Policing Act bill, which would include getting rid of qualified immunity that uh, absolves police officers personally of the things they do to black people, like cold-blooded killing of unarmed, innocent people and things like that. Well, now, you know, they're not interested in that anymore. Uh, James Clyburn of South Carolina said, well, you know what, in order to get the infrastructure bill passed, we'll go ahead and forego getting rid of qualified immunity right now. So we really haven't heard much about the George Floyd in Policing Act anymore. Okay, so what has really changed since that of the LA riots to right now? Nothing. And case in point is this, Maxine Waters was the Congresswoman back when the riots took place. And guess what? She still is. She is still the Congresswoman there in Los Angeles, South Central and all of that. And nothing has changed especially for black people. Things have gotten worse. Gentrification has run rampant in Los Angeles. It is predominantly Hispanic. And now you see a lot of um, Asians taking over. In fact, black people are about 6% of the population in Los Angeles. It wasn't that 30 years ago. And so I bring up Maxine Waters just for an example as to what we as black people need to do during the midterm elections. We need to replace those people and put people in office who are actually going to make a change for us as black people. And the LA riots is a really good litmus test of how things were and how they are now. The same, if not worse. And if we keep electing people like your Maxine Waters to go to Washington to do stuff for us, they're not gonna do anything for us. People like Maxine Waters feels like, well, I've gotten the job. They love me. They love that I do nothing for them. They like that I'm reclaiming my time and all this other stuff. And so they'll send me back in there to do more of nothing for them, right? And so I'm telling y'all that if you want to change, spread the word, get somebody else in there that's going to actually be progressive for black people to stop this gentrification, go to Washington and bring home the bacon for black people. Because Maxine Waters and all of her homies in the Congressional Black Caucus are not it. There's no reason why the LA riots and all that happened in South Central um, has not netted us any change as far as police brutality is still the same, if not worse. Um, housing, LA, black people are more than 50% 
of the homeless population, economics, education, and everything else in between is horrible for black people. And so let's get somebody else in these seats that's actually gonna do what they say they're going to do. And if they don't, they gotta go. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Hello, everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.